With 2018 just around the corner, millions of Americans have begun planning their New Year's resolutions from losing weight to working out. But one thing that's often overlooked is becoming financially fit. Here to discuss different strategies to get there is Senior Vice President of Direct Sales and Service for American Century Investments, Jay Hummel, and CEO of Investopedia, David Siegel. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Great to be here. David, I'll start with you. Why did Investopedia team up with American Century Investments to talk with people about financial issues? Sure, Alex. I mean, the state of financial literacy in this country is just truly concerning. There are 38 million households uh, in this country that have zero retirement savings. And of people that do have retirement savings, they only have an average of $60,000. America is one of the most wealthy countries in the country, in the world, and it's also one of the least financially literate. And to us, that's a serious problem. It really is a big problem. So Jay, what were the biggest takeaways from your adventure in The Financial Coach? Probably our biggest surprise is we took uh, our financial consultants out with us uh, and we met with thousands of people out on the various stops. And what surprised us the most was regardless of whether someone came up and they were 22 years old or they were 52 years old, the number one thing they wanted to talk about was fear about retirement savings. And so you would, you would have thought, or at least we would have thought, the 22 year old would be more interested in talking to us about school debt about a mortgage, about buying a first house, but it wasn't. Uh, America is very, very concerned about retirement, uh, and they are concerned that they don't even know where to start. Right. I think a lot of people are confused about it and struggle to know which avenues to take. So what is it that keeps most Americans from securing a, f a fiscally sound future? Well, they're busy, and so they don't think about it. And so they're, Americans are working harder than ever to make ends meet. They're trying to be a good father or a good mother or a good brother or sister, and, and so they're just busy. And so they don't stop for a minute and think, do I have a problem? Do I have a financial goal? Do I have a plan? And so it's much easier for them to just say, well, I'll worry about it tomorrow. And uh, we in American Century, our logo is a tree. And because it, it uh, stands for the symbolism of when's the best time to plant an oak tree? It was 20 years ago. Uh, when's the second best time today? And so we just think Americans push it off. They don't think in small bites. And so when we were out on the, with Investopedia out on the tour telling people, keep it simple, start small, uh, do something, don't wait. I think one of the challenges is that people just oftentimes don't know what they don't even know. Yeah. And that's why one of the first things that we did is had people take quizzes to see where there were gaps in their knowledge, just to gain awareness about what they needed to learn more about. And their answers to the quizzes there and the lack of knowledge can help them move forward. Well, I think, you know, this culture of consumerism, while it is good for the economy, it takes people's eye off the ball and makes them more focused on the immediate things that they can get, rather than, like you said, planting a seed for the future. And it's amazing how much it can grow if you just start now. So with 2018 just around the corner, what are some tips for people to find their way to financial fitness? So back to the simplicity thing, we recommend you do two things. One is look into your company's retirement plan. If you have a 401k plan, make sure that you're using uh, the maximum of the match. Don't miss out on a match. It's free money given to you by your company. Or maybe if you already are taking advantage of the match, add 1% in 2018 because you're not going to notice the money that's in your account uh, that, that you didn't see in the first place. And the second thing is wake up on January 2nd and just figure out how much money you spend in that week. Don't overcomplicate it. How much money do you spend in a week? Because by learning how much money you're spending, it's not about how much money you make, it's about how much money you spend. Uh, and those are the two simple things we think Americans should do as they wake up on January 2nd. Good point. It's about facing your habits and your problems head on and making sure that you have a complete picture of what your finances look like. And like you say, not leaving money on the table. So if people want to learn more information, where can they go? So go to the website financialfitnesstour.com. That's financialfitnesstour.com. Next year, hopefully in 2018, we would love to go out to Tucson and have that be part of our tour. We had six companies, six cities in 2017. We're looking forward to expanding that in 2018. Check out the site. There's great videos and content to, and take a quiz to learn more. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you.